Rama Rama, Namaste everyone. Welcome you all to session 11 of Sanskrit Nishri Patamala 1. Today we will revise all that we have done so far. Uh, and if you have any doubts before the test, you can get them clarified today, hopefully. Let us begin with the Mangala Shlokaha. Shuklam Varadharam Vishnum Shashivarnam Chatur Pujam Prasanna Vadanam Jai Sarva Vigno Prashantai Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Saksha Param Brahma Dasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Jnana Nanda Mayam Devam Nirmalas Thatika Kritim Adharam Sarva Vidyanam Hayat Griva Mupasmahe Saraswati Namaste Subhena Pustaka Dharini Hamsavahana Maruhe Vidyadhanam Purushwame. So let us go through what we have done from the beginning. First, we saw the Devanagari script. The speciality about the script is that in Sanskritam, every word is spelled and pronounced in, the, in only one way, which means if you hear a correctly spelled, I mean, correctly pronounced word, you can write it without a doubt, without a spelling mistake. Similarly, if you see a correctly spelled word, you will be able to pronounce it correctly. So, uh, as I told you in the last class, the only exception to this is the case where hakara comes before makara, nakara and nakara. In these three cases alone, where the hakara comes first, we don't pronounce it first. For example, in hakara makara combination, ma is there in brahma. But we say brahma, we hear the hakara later and the makara first. So the uh, position is interchanged. In pronunciation alone, the spelling remains the same. So uh, in vanni, we say. We don't say vah nihi, we say van nihi. And then grnati is wrong. We should not hear the hakara first. Grnhati is the correct pronunciation. So in some regional variations of Sanskritam, we also hear the hakara uh, when there is hakara followed by ya, va, and the. There also we hear the ya va la first. For example, hya uh, hakara with ya, hya. Hya means yesterday. They say ya, which means you only hear the yakara first. So that is also acceptable. This is uh, subject to regional variations, but universally the makara, nakara, and nakara are pronounced only. Uh, and in those cases, the hakara is pronounced later. Then we saw the, uh, so this is about the Devanagari script. What are the components? Varas, varas which are 13 in number, hraswa, dirgha, and uh, 5 hraswa, and 8 dirgha swaras are there. Vyanjanas are consonants which are 33 in number, ayogavahas are auxiliary letters which are neither swaras nor yanjanas. Then we saw how to combine the consonants with vowels because consonants are not capable of being pronounced independently. They need the help of vowels for pronunciation. Then we saw sanyuktakshuras. Sanyuktakshuras are combinations of consonants. Consonants occurring immediately after each other without intervening. Vowels are Actually, we'll see, uh, we'll revise everything in detail now. The swaras has a e, u, r, l, which are short. The corresponding long vowels are a, e, u, and r. The kara does not have a long vowel. And then in the long vowel category, we have a, i, o, and o, which are all long vowels and which uh, do not have corresponding short uh, variants. Then uh, am and aha are given here, but they are not supposed to be included here. We include them in the ayogavahas or auxiliary letters. Next, we saw the uh, consonants. Consonants are divided into the grouped consonants or the vargiya vyanjanas 
and the avargiya vyanjanas avargiya vyanjanas are those which are not in groups there are five groups under the group consonants which are ka varga or the gutturals they are kantya varnas because they are pronounced from the throat cha varga are palatals they are the talavya varnas because they are pronounced with the help of the talu and um, uh ch ch j j and ny are the letters in that varga ta varga is murdhanya varna vargas uh ta varga is the murdhanya varga and it's called linguals in english ta th da dha na for this the tongue is rolled backwards and it touches the hard palate then the ta varga is the dentals the tongue touches the teeth for pronouncing these letters ta th da dha and Now, then the per varga, the lips come in contact with each other. Per, per, ber, ber, ma, and the, these are called yara lava and sh, sh, sh are our dia pranjanas. Yara lava together are called antastha and sh, sh, sh are called the ushmanha. Then we divided the consonants into two categories based on. the amount of emphasis that is laid in pronunciation as the hard consonants which are the first two letters of all the vargas all in the sense the five vargas and sh sh and s these are the uh, hard consonants or karkasha vyanjanas the others are soft consonants because their emphasis is less and they are called mridu vyanjanas that is the 3 4 5 letters of the vargas y r l p and h the aspirate all these come under the mridu vyanjanas or the soft consonants and the last letter of the vargas all the five vargas are the anunasika vargas which means they are pronounced with the help of the nose so they are anunasika vargas next we saw the uh, classification of consonants based on the amount of prana as alpha prana and maha prana the second and fourth letters of the vargas and then sh sh s h these are all maha pranas you need to breathe more air out of the mouth for pronouncing these letters the others do not require so much prana so they are called alpha prana Uh, the first third and fifth letters of the vargiya vyanjanas yara lava come under the alpa prana category next next we saw ayoga vahas ayoga vahas are am which is the anuswara the am itself is not the anuswara just the dot above is the anuswara the anuswara follows the vowel always and it has a purely nasal sound you, you don't say um and close the mouth just for uh, uh, ease of pronunciation i'm saying that but um is the correct pronunciation where uh, the lips are not closed visarga is hakara like a, a short version of the hakara is the visarga and it follows vowels and it takes the uh, Uh, characteristic of the vowel it is following for example after a it is a uh, after u it is u and so on then the jihwa muliya jihwa muliya is nothing but in writing you will just see it as a visarga before a k or a kh the first two letters of the kantya varnas or the kavarga so how it is pronounced is it has a, a peculiar pronunciation because it is not pronounced as a full visarga its duration is shortened so it is called a jihwa muliya uh, as somebody pointed out in the last class dukha has this jihwa muliya in upadmaniya this comes before the uh, p and h the first two letters of the p varga the oshthya varga varnas and this has also has a half visarga sound before the p and k and sometimes it gets uh, a pronunciation similar to f in english next we saw the gunitaksharas 
that is how the consonants combine with the vowels and how they appear as the combined consonants. Uh, with akara, there is no change. Excuse me. So all these uh, uh, combinations of vowels are given with the kakara first and a similar thing is to be adopted for the other consonants as well. So we will see a chart where we see what are the changes that the letter undergoes in order to, uh, you know, when they are combined or when they combine with the different vowels. When a consonant combines with akara, there is no change. So the plus a, k, you don't add any extra stroke there. With akara, an extra vertical line appears. With e, a vertical line in front with a curve on top. With e kara, a vertical line which is following it, and then a curve on top. With u, it is a, a curve below, which is a clockwise curve, which is turning left. And u kara is another is the reverse of that curve, and it is uh, it is below that letter. R. Uh, here the r, the dirgha rikara is given here. The correct way of writing it is with the, uh, an English S kind of letter on the right hand side. That is the khraswa rikara. The dirgha rikara has the R letter, English R letter on the right hand side. So the k plus the khraswa uh, rikara will give you kr, where there is a small English letter C which is appended below the letter. And when you write an inverted three below the letter, it means a r or dirgha rikara has been added. When l is added, what happens is uh, the l is just written under the letter. That's all. A kara, um, a slanting line above is found. I kara, two slanting lines above the letter. O kara, a vertical line and a slanting line above. Au kara, a vertical line and two slanting lines above. Am has a dot above. Aha has the visarka. So these Anuswara visarka are the auxiliary letters. This is as far as the Munitaksharas. Munitaksharas are concerned. Next, we saw the um, Sanyuktaksharas or how to combine different consonants. For this purpose, we divided the consonant group into different categories. The first one has uh, a vertical line on the extreme right. Most of the consonants come under this category. In this case, when it has to combine with the next consonant, you just suppress the vertical line. The example given here is plus here, here, as in here. And then both sides of the vertical line, if there are strokes, as in ka and ka, then you suppress a portion of the, uh, uh, on, of the stroke on the right hand side, as you find here, k and ma, ma. And then when there is no vertical line, mostly they don't undergo a change. You write one below the other. When there is no vertical line, sometimes the second consonant also undergoes a change. Like in t plus here, here, not yam. So we see. Takara and the Yakara changing its shape. Then when the Reha appears as the first consonant, it appears as a curve above the next following consonant. So somebody had asked me, um, had written to me an email asking how to pronounce this because uh, which one should they pronounce first? They should see the when there is a curve above the next consonant. That should be pronounced first because a curve above indicates Repa is the first consonant. So, um, Suryaha. In Suryaha, I will just show you with the help of a Here, suppose I write here 
you see su takara with the u kara you make it a little bigger so you see the sakara with the u kara then you should see the when you see the curve above the next letter you should know that that has to be pronounced first because the curve above indicates a repa which precedes so sometimes you may get the doubt that since you are writing the yakara and then writing the curve above should you pronounce it later that is sometimes confusing but with practice that should become all right next is sarpaha also was a doubt similarly sakara this is sakara with akara s and then the repa to be pronounced after that finally the akara with the akara so So this uh, repa, when it comes before, is the curve above the next consonant, and when it is the second consonant, you pronounce it. You write it as the slanting line below the previous consonant. So here you write ka and then the repa uh, as a slanting line below. You pronounce it in that order as well. Then there are some special forms like nia, kshwa, shwa, etc., which we saw in the last class in detail. now we will have some exercises before that i will check if there are any questions because if you have doubts you can get them clarified before we proceed uh is ayam toranaha grammatically correct yes toranaha is both pullingam and uh, napunsakalingam uh bharat ram Yes, uh, Bharat Ram Mahodaya. Do you have any doubt? No, sir. I am first class. Ma'am, uh, this is my first class. Okay. So, uh, yeah. what exactly? Where can we see the previous? Uh, where can we see the previous videos? Previous classes. Yeah. No, it's all in the course pages. I mean the fourth page of this uh, Sanskrit Shri Patimala in the uh, Vyoma Sanskrit from Home uh, website. So you can uh, search for this Patimala course, and then you would have definitely registered, and that's why you are getting the email link through which you are joining this class. So uh, you will you would have you would have subscribed to the course, and so when you scroll down, you will see all the class videos, the presentations, the audio. uh and in case any audio homework was given that file will also be there separately against each class you will find all these details so you can mm -hmm. refer to that dhanyawad uh, ma'am Ah, uh, how do you pronounce the Chandra Bindu as in Mahalabha? Ah, uh, as I said, it's Mahalabha. So you don't close the mouth. Mahalabha. The lakara gets a anunasika sound. So it is l. Uh, it's not l. It is l. You see the difference in pronunciation where the nasal sound is an addition in 
the Chandra, the one with the Chandra Bindu. Uh, some examples of multiple answers. I think there was a uh, Google form, uh, a sample which was given in the group. So, uh, say for example, uh, we have a question how many uh, consonants are there? And you have the options uh, as 25, 33, and so on. You have to choose the correct answer. That's it. Uh, is my voice very low today? I mean, people are saying that my voice is low. Uh, is it better now? Excuse me, is it better? Ram Ram. Okay. Some people are saying that it's okay. Okay. Then the next question is um, The link for the test will be sent by email uh, before 8 o'clock on Tuesday and it will also be uploaded in the course page. So if you're not getting the email, don't panic. You can open the course page. You'll find the link there. When you click, you will be able to open the Google form. Anuswara also follows only a vowel. Anuswara and Visarga come only after a vowel. Yes, so in Bahya and uh, Jihwa, the hakara comes immediately before ya and ba. So in some places, ba here, they pronounce the y first and give it more emphasis. So that is a regional variation. Uh, I think in some parts of Maharashtra, they have this, especially in the Vaidika Ucharana, they say that this is the, uh, you know, this is the difference that they find there, which is also an acceptable uh, form because it is, it has been traditionally handed down like that. Uh, but universally, the other three letters are only um, the accepted forms of pronouncing Akara, Makara, Nakara, and Nakara. Padmam. Padmam is Napumsakalingam. Somebody wants to know the gender of Padmam. Uh, Yes, uh, so uh, somebody also wants to know, in Surya, do we write the Yakara first and then write the Repa? It does not really matter. In the written thing, the uh, order in which it is written is not very important. You are going to see both. So whichever is convenient for you, you are going to write it that way. But then the pronunciation is important because the Repa has to be pronounced first. Surya. Shantihi is three lingam. Somebody wants to know the lingam of Shantihi. Then Ra as the first consonant. Ra plus Ka. Ra or K. Okay. So when Repa comes first and then the Kakara, Rka is how you pronounced it pronounce it. For example, Adgaha. Adgaha is a name for the sun. So, R and then the Ka. Is there any rule for R? Yes. The R Kara, which is the vowel, is pronounced like the R in crystal and the L like the L in glycerin that we saw in the beginning itself. It should not be pronounced as V or U. 
and the rikara also should not be pronounced as ru or ri this r If you want a link uh, to the to join the telegram group please email me at ramgarajandeepa.vyoma at uh, gmail.com i will uh, send you the link otherwise you would have received an email with the link uh, before but if you haven't received it you can always email me okay So for those of you uh, who are having a difficulty finding this course page in the Sanskrit from Home uh, website, see, you would have obviously subscribed to this course. So when you go to your profile, you have to first sign in, that is important. And then you go to your profile and you will find all the courses for which you have subscribed on the right hand side. From that, you can choose the Sanskrit Shri Bhattamala. The telegram thing is an app. I think you can access it from the phone. Rashmihi Lingam is full Lingam. Rashmihi is also a ray, which is a full Lingam word. Naishadham is the short name of the Kavya, which is written by Sri Harsha on Nala Chakravarti. It's not a very important uh, meaning that you have to memorize because you don't use it often. But it's nice to know. And uh, it's, it's a uh, Napumsakalinga word in the textbook. So if you, it's enough if you just uh, write the meaning as Naishadham itself. Anything related to uh, Nishadha, and which is an Apumsakalinkam thing can be called Naishadham. Uh, please tell me a few words which look like masculine and which are feminine. So for now, the rule that we are following, it is not a rule, it is not even any kind of criterion to decide whether it is full lingam or sri lingam, is the Visarka. For now, we are saying that the akara ending words, the haraswa akara ending words followed by the sarka are pullingam. The dirgha akara and dirgha ikara ending words are strilingam. And am ending words are all napumsaka lingam. But we saw exceptions in everything. Uh, for example, bhumihi, we saw it has a visarka at the end, a haraswa ikara, and yet it is strilingam. There are many Three linga words which have ikara followed by visarka. Similarly, we saw kama dhenuhu. Dhenuhu is haraswa ukara followed by visarka. That is also a three linga word. Then we saw uh, an adjective uh, which, which is brihat. So it means uh, big or huge and it is a napumsakalinga adjective even though it does not end in am. Yes, Pakshi is also a uh, pullinga word. But uh, at this level, it's okay if you, if you can just remember that it is a pullinga word. So how it is a pullinga word and all, you will be, uh, you will learn it in due course of time. <clears throat> My email ID is found in all the slides, rangarajandeepa.vyoma at gmail.com. So, if you access the course page and look at any presentation, you will see my email ID in every slide.
So the Telegram group has this uh, Google form sample, which a student had kindly, uh, you know, had thoughtfully posted. So if necessary, we can repost it again. I have made the uh, all the posts visible for even the new uh, people who are joining the group. Uh, but still, you may have to just scroll up and look for it. That's all. How to write Padma? Yes, if you have any technical difficulty regarding accessing of the course page or any other problem, uh, as I told you, you should have been signed in, you should have subscribed to the course. These are the two conditions. In spite of that, if you're not able to see the uh, videos or if you have any other issue, you can write to Sanskrit from, Sanskrit from home at vyomalabs.in. If it has Chandra Bindu, is it Namunsakalingam? There is no such rule. You cannot uh, generalize like that. Amaraha means immortal. Usually gods are immortal. So the meaning of the word Amaraha is God. Kumaraha means young boy. It is given as youth. It's the same. The young person is a youth. Yes, Samskrita Shri Pathamala is the name of the textbook. What is the English word for Vidya? Vidya is learning or knowledge. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to upload the Google form in the uh, slide. But it is a, it's nothing uh, very complicated. You just have to scroll down and read the question and click on the correct answer, which is you will have four or five options or you may have to choose more than one option. And you can uh, just click on it and move to the next question. You can go back and review your answers and then you can click on submit. It's a very, very simple thing. You don't have to worry about. So the link will take you automatically to the Google form. Just one instruction that I wanted to give you was, it will prompt you to give an email ID. And uh, if you give any other email ID other than the one you have given at the time of registering for the course, then it will be difficult for us to track which student has uh, you know, uh, attempted this quiz. So it is important that you give the same email ID that you have given at the time of registering for the course. That is the email ID to which you're receiving all these reminder emails. You have to give the same email ID. There is no other restriction. Uh, and you have ample time because one hour is a lot of time. There are just 30 questions. It will hardly take 15 to 20 minutes. You just have to keep keep clicking and if you know and uh, your subject, then it's, uh, I mean, it's extremely uh, simple. Um, so we have just given you one hour because in case there are any technical difficulties, you don't have to panic. Yes, you should know the uh, English meaning of the Sanskrit word which is given as well as this, uh, when they give you the English word, you must be able to uh, correctly spell the uh, Sanskrit word as well. Only then it will benefit you. There are 30 multiple choice questions in the test. Okay, so we we'll stop here for the questions. And if somebody wants to try the exercise, you can do that. You can raise your hands. I will call your name and unmute you.
Within B, do you want to try? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ram Ram, can you try this? Yes, ma'am. What is this? Yeah. What are the, yeah. So, what are the alphabets that are part of this? T plus R. Ah, t plus R, not R. The Rikara, which is a vowel. Okay, ma'am. This Rikara is the short Kraswa uh, uh, vowel that we saw in the one of the five workshops, Kraswa vowels, right? So it is not Reva, yeah. it is Rikara. Okay, this one? Tua. Okay, Tua is the pronunciation. What are the letters that are here? Ta plus the. Okay, do you see a small line here? Extending from the Takara? Yes, ma'am. Yes, there is a small line extending from the Takara, which means there double is another. Ah, that's a double Takara there. So, Takara, again Takara, and then the Vakara. Good. This is? Dr. Nr. Ah, this has, can you tell me the letters that are here? Nya plus R. R. Okay. Nya has what letter? Is it a single letter? Is it a single consonant or it is a conjunct consonant? Ma'am, it's a single consonant. No, it is not. There is Jakara, then there is Nyakara, and then there is Ukara. There is no R here. It is Karaswa Ukara. Jakara, okay. Nyakara, and Ukara gives you Nyu. Okay. This is Dhu. Uh, how will Dhu be? It has to have uh -huh. a loop above. Uh, dhu will. The plus the plus U. Very good. The is the plus U. It is not the, it is the. The third Dakara. And then the U. Next is, how do you pronounce this? Ma'am, I'm not sure. Okay. What are the letters? Can you identify? At least the Na letters. Na, Very good. So, Na, then Kra has Kakara and Krakara. Right? Finally, yes. there is an akara at the end. So, na, th, na, nyakara, uh -huh. nakara, kakara, yeah. shakara, and plus a. a. Yes. This is? Hri. Yes. Hri. So, tell me the letters. Ha plus r, r plus e. It's not r here, it is ra, repa. Ra. Hakara, Repa, and Haraswa, Ikara are the three letters which are giving you this form. Okay, no. ma'am. This is? Do, Dao. Dao. Mahaprana, Dhakara, with Au. Then? Shnuh. Shnuh. The Vishnu. Very good. So it is? Shakara. Okay, ma'am. So, can you tell me what are the letters here? Sha yes. plus na plus u yes. plus aha. Very good. Shno. Then? Um, Tat. Ah, here, there is an akara at the end. Is the pronunciation where there is a kakara and a takara. So the first part you recognize as ikanta, right? Yes, ma'am. And then there is another the here. So it is ik, t, ik, t, and then the akara follows. T. So there are three consonants followed by akara. 
Kakara, 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 and then the Akar. Okay, ma'am. Dhani vada. Dhani vada. Yes, you want to try the next set? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. What is this? Um, tra, tra. Ah. So, Nakara. Takara and Repa. Yes. Then, Da, Dya, Dya. Yes. Takara, Yakara, and Akara. Yes, so Dakara, which is the third Dakara, and then the Ya and A. Good. Next is T. T. Yes. So Kakara, Takara, and Ikara. Very good. Excellent. Next is. It's a Jio Rjo. Very good. Jio has Repa, Jakara, yes. Yakara, and Akara. Okara. No, it's Aukara. Okara. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, it's Okara, not Aukara. This is. Okay, ma'am. Gna. Gna. Gakara, yes, and Nakara. Yes, the G, uh, it is not G, it is G. So, Gna, with the Mahaprana, it has to be pronounced. Gakara, Nakara, and then the Akara. Next is Hni, yes. Ha Hakara. Nakara and Ikara. Good. Ni. Next is. I have no idea about this. This is Dakara, which is the, 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 the third Dakara and the vowel dr. Dr. Like Drishyam. Okay. Drishyam has this dr. Dakara and Rika. That's all. Shre. Shre. Yes. Shakara. Repa. And Ekara. Good. This is. Kl. Kl. Yes. Kakara. Lakara. And Akara. No. This L is a vowel. So there is no akara following this. Just the kakara and the L vowel. L. Dhanyavadaha. Dhanyavadaha. So you have to form a, or write a sentence with the word that is given. Anybody wants to answer, you can raise your hand. Sheetal do you want to try? I'm Bhagini. Ram Namaste. Namaste. Ashwaha. Uh, Any of the pronouns you can use with this and form a small sentence as they have always been. Ashwaha uh, or Aishaha or I am Ashwaha. Good. I am Ashwaha. In I am, I am Ashwaha, you will make sure you write yes, the. This is a horse. Because Akara is following, you write the Makara. Okay, next is. 
संतोषः अयम संतोषः और ऐशा संतोषः वचनम वचनम जीवनम इदम जीवनम दिस इज अ लाइफ यस इन द बुक इट्स गिवन एज लाइवलीहुड वचनम इज आल्सो अ वर्ड और व्हाट इज स्पोकन इट हैज सेवरल मीनिंग्स देन गोपुरम गोपुरम सेम एतद एतद इदम इदम गो गो all three are right idam or eta or tat gopuram means this or that is a tower gopuram is a tower 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 like the temple tower right so this gopuram dhanyavadah Shailaja ji, you want to try the next set? It's a similar kind of thing. You have to frame a sentence. Yes, ma'am. Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram. Yeah. Bhupala ha, Esha ha, Bhupala ha. This is a king. Okay. Yatra. एषा यात्रा यस दैट इज यात्रा दिस इज यात्रा दिस इज अ जर्नी जर्नी या पानकम इदम पानकम दिस इज अ स्वीट ड्रिंक ड्रिंकिंग स्वीट ड्रिंक यस पायसम इज अ स्वीट ड्रिंक पानकम इज गिवन एज ड्रिंकिंग वाटर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर यस idam panakam means this is drink drink uh, sorry water you should not have a here this is drinking water that's okay kripa kripa sa kripa that yes. is kripa that is kripa compassion okay. compassion of the deity okay. yeah. next is peetham yes etat peetham yes This is seat. Seat. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So you can answer the question. Uh, for example, I've given Mriga Kaha. Mriga Mriga has a deer. Which is the deer? Kaha Mriga. You point out the deer and say that is the deer. So, Shakti, do you want to try this? Yes, ma'am. Namaskar, Ram Ram. Ram Ram, Namaskar. Saka. Saka. You can give any answer. Sa bala. So means. she is what? she is bala okay bala means young girl a girl okay here i have given salata do you know the meaning she is lata or okay. yes lata means this is lata this is lata okay or that is lata rather that is lata that. yes sa means that, that. she is that lata is. Lata is a creeper as well. Ah, right. Yeah, Kim. Uh, 
kim puranam uh, you are asking a question by saying kim so kim is a question word right etat puranam etat puranam very etat puranam okay puranam is purana i have given etat payasam payasam means मीन्स Krom means um, uh, jealous. No, uh, Bakram means crooked. So what crooked. is crooked? Uh, you can say any uh, anything which is crooked. Idam 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 Bakram. Yes, you can say idam Bakram or yetat Bakram. Very good. You can say all the three. You can also say any dwaram Bakram, griham Bakram. You can. Say uh, you can mention any of the Napunsa Kalinga words and say that is crooked. Okay. Next is Ka Devata or Devata Ka. Ka Devata. I am Devata. Na Yesha Devata. Meaning? This is God. Goddess. Devata is Sri. Devata is Goddess. This is Goddess. It is. Yes. Thanya Mata. धन्यवाद Yes, ma'am. Ram, ram. Ram. Namaste. So, one. Etat kriham. Can you give me uh, a Sanskritam sentence which has the same meaning as this? Etat kriham. Ma'am, it is tat bhavanam. Ah, tat is that. Etat is this. So, what? Uh, pronoun will you use, ma'am? Then I think it's coming etat only, ma'am. Uh, idam can also be used. Idam and etat are of uh, the etat shabda or idam shabda, both of which mean this. So you can say idam bhavanam. Next is taha ravihi. Ravihi means, ma'am, he is surya. Very good. So, what will your uh, translation into Sanskrit be? I mean, what will your Sanskrit sentence be? I am Surya. I am is this. So, you have to use Saha itself. Saha Surya, because there is no equivalent for that in uh, the pronouns that we learnt, right? Right. Okay, ma'am. Next is Eshaha. Isha. Notice the difference in notice the difference in the pronunciation of this shakara and this shakara. Isha, Isha. So this is what? Any excuse me, ma'am? Yes. Ma'am, Isha means God means Deva only, na? Huh? Yes, I am Deva. I am Deva. Yes. Next is that Kamalam. Yes. Do you know another word for Kamalam? Ma'am, Pushpam. Pushpam is generally a flower. Kamalam means. Ma'am, no idea. Kamalam is lotus. So the other words that you learned are pankajam and patmam. Can you use it in a sentence? Ma'am, 
इदम नो मैम सह you don't have to change that because it is napamsakalingam both pankajam and padmam are also napamsakalingam words so you can say tat pankajam or tat padmam okay esha mala what is mala mala means a necklace yes do you know another word for mala mam another word is you learned the word malika right yes ma'am iam malika iam is also this you can say malika iam is trilingam both mala and malika are trilingam words excuse me ma'am yes ma'am i have a doubt because my Uh, whatever chat box is there, that is not working. Means I am sending you, but you are not uh, responding. I think. Okay. So what is your doubt? Ma'am, I have joined since three classes or four classes, I think. So okay. and all the classes I am the. I don't know how to log in in this, and I don't also know that how to do the exams. Uh. See, it is very simple. You are uh, logging into the class with the help of an email, right? You click on the link, join webinar, and you are coming into the webinar, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, of See your me. previous videos. No, let me respond to your uh, question about the Google form first. So similarly, you will get get an email. Uh, with the link to the google form you have to click on the link and your google form will open you just have to type out your name and your email id and proceed with the test that's all and oh, for the you. previous uh, lessons you will find it both in the course page and as well as it is uploaded in youtube so you just have to search for sanskrit shri padmamala and you can type out the session number if you remember class number if you remember and you will uh, it will come in youtube that is also an option ma'am in where we have to search there is a search box in youtube where you can search for it ma'am you can ask your... no you can ask your parents to help with this and you can search okay can you answer this one because we are running out of time sorry ma'am sorry for this one saha pakshi what does this mean ma'am sir for sir it is sir only and pakshi means birds uh, yes which is the word for pakshi that you learned another word for bird is khagaha sir yes. khagaha dhanyavaad dhanyavaad Okay. Next is. Sarita Singh, do you want to try the next one? Yes, Ram Ram. Oh, this is Shashwat. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. Which one? Yes. So, can you name any uh, three gods which are given in the textbook that we have learned? The Jam Master. Yes. Devam. Devam. Ish. Amaraha. 
और ईशा ईशा एंड देवम आर द जेंडल नेम्स फॉर गॉड्स बट द नेम ऑफ अ गॉड यू हैव लर्न द नेम्स ऑफ मेनी गॉड्स ओके गजानन इज राइट एनी अदर नेम ऑफ द गॉड यू रिमेंबर अमरह मैम अमरह इज द वर्ड फॉर गॉड इट्स अ जेंडल वर्ड फॉर गॉड what about the name of the king like mam deva vishnu 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 gajanana shiva baba and keshava these are all the names that we saw in our lesson okay next is name of sita mam okay sita lakshmi okay how do you like Did you learn Lakshmi in the lesson? Lakshmi ha. <laughs> no, it's Lakshmi hi, but we have not seen that word yet. So Rama, Parvati, Parvati is right. So Rama, Uma, and Gauri. Next is you remember three words? Three words. Paak ha. Yes. धन्यवाद ललिता टू सिक्स वन जीरो डू वॉन्ट टू ट्राई द नेक्स्ट वन यस मैम राम राम नमस्ते राम राम नमस्ते Names of three animals. Three animals. Vrishabha. Good. Uh, Sarpaha. Okay. Um, Sarpaha. Kama Denu. Is that a goddess, sir? Yes, that's a goddess. <laughs> that's a goddess. Okay. Uh, Adi Seshaha. That's also. Uh, Mm, sorry, ma'am. Yeah, Ashwaha, Gajaha, Ashwaha. Yeah. Okay, Ashwaha, Gajaha. Three feelings. Uh, yes. Uh, Garvaha, Kleshaha. Yes. Okay. Santoshaha. Very good. We learned Ananda, Bhayam, Kutu Halam, Kutu Halam. Mm, yes. Uh, these are all names of emotions. Okay. Okay. The adjectives that we saw. Adjectives. Uh, is uh, adbutam an adjective, ma'am? Yes, it is. Okay, adbutam. Uh, adjective. Mm. Okay. Uh, we saw brhat, which is big. Ah, uh, brhat. Ah, uh, brhat. Yeah. Uh, large that is large yes it's large vakram is uh, crooked, crooked and crooked vakram is either right or hooked well cooked okay right. okay so these are all adjectives okay. dhanyavaad dhanyavaad okay so we will stop here and Wish you all good luck with your exam. So, recite the Shanti Mantra. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Ha, Sarve Santu Niramaya Ha, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashchit Dukha Bhagavee Om Shanti. 
धन्यवाद शुभरात्रि पुनर्मिरा तो